aside from being a dope developer, I'm also a music producer. Anyway, hey everybody, my asset, the immersive template, was selected as free for the month. And to celebrate that further, I want to provide y'all with a tutorial on how to integrate this with the advanced locomotion system. Yes, that's right, you done heard correctly. I, me, Dilo, have fingered out how to successfully integrate these assets together with full functionality. Well, except for the chairs. They're like 90% done, but I feel like it's going to take me another day or so to figure it out, and I really just want to get this video out. I'll explain in depth towards the end of this video as to what the issue is and some ways to work around it. If I figure it out after this, I'll make a video and link it in the description. Lastly, make sure you stick to the end where I'm going to give y'all the best surprise of your life. All right, let's start. This is going to be done using UE 4.27, and there are several sections where I provide links to nodes for you to copy and paste. I'm not sure if pasting will have issues with UE5, but again, stick to the end and I promise you will not regret it. First step, let's migrate my asset to ALS. Ignore these files in my project. You shouldn't have them. We're just migrating the immersive template. Next, go to edit project settings, input, import, and select the file from the first link in the description. All I did was rearrange some button mappings and change the name of stance action to crouch slash roll. Open ALS character and go to base blueprint. And now we can close out of the ALS character. Add the immersive and dialo component, copy the macro from the immersive character, go to data, structs, movement settings, and make a new float variable named crawl speed. Open movement model table, velocity direction, and put 75 for crawl speeds. Then compile the base character, go to struct, right click, refresh, and split each one and connect it. Then search for ALS gate enum and add a new layer named crawling. Search for update dynamic movement settings and connect crawl speed. Next, search get allowed and add a return node. Open the dialo movement components change movement group and paste the nodes from the second link in the video description. Open online crouch and connect owning client to crouch. Then change the crawl transform to negative 40. Go back to change movement group, open up crawl and delete everything and paste in nodes from link three. Go back and double click stand and change this to ALS crouch. Then in base event graph, paste in link number four and create a macro named overhead check spelt exactly like this create the float variable and hook up the nodes. Then in the ALS base player input graph, delete everything and copy and paste the nodes from link number five, then open ragdoll update and paste the nodes from link six, add a pin to the sequencer and connect it. I noticed that the pin may actually not connect here, so make sure you plug it in manually. Now open up the object pickup blueprint event graph pickup animation, copy paste these nodes to interrupted and connect Connect it to server enable input up here. Then open the immersive interface, click on motion and add input. Then open the ABP immersive anim graph, copy everything below default movement, double click motion and paste. Connect output pose to the final output at the bottom. At the top, delete this section and paste the nodes from the seventh link and connect input pose to true. Go to the event graph and disconnect mantle. From ABP immersive, copy and paste character components to ALS and MBP and right click create new on all the variables. Then in the event graph, connect character components. Now go to the immersive folder, search skeleton, open it up, copy the hold underscore two socket and paste it into ALS skeleton. Save everything, go back and delete the blue one. Yes, delete it and replace it with the ALS skeleton. Continue, save, open Open ALS Anim BP again, click class settings, add interface, immersive Anim interface, then in the Anim graph, search linked layer, select motion from the dropdown and ABP immersive, then plug it in here. Open ALS player controller and disconnect input action overlay menu. And if you want, you can connect begin play to get all actors to skip the ALS HUD. Now this is the last thing you got to do. For each of the montages, you need to specify the montage
montage slots based on the animation played. For example, the pickups and put downs are full body animations, so you'll change from upper body to overlay base. Then for the animations that play while moving, like lighting the torch, you need to change the slot to the appropriate hand. Make sure when you set the first hand, you duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. Do not add new because it won't be tied to the montage. You see this green thing? In the ABP immersive actions layer blend per bone nodes, uncheck each of these boxes and change this to override. For left and right layer blend, change the blend depth to 10 and on the two hand layer, add two more sections and copy paste the negative one clavicles from the left and right hand and change them to zero. This keeps the box in place when running instead of the hand moving back and forth. The two handed clavicle step will be added to the small update I'm submitting today. Some other things that I've done for preference is to open the immersive component, reference setup, setup UI, and remove the widget from parent here. Now you don't have my UI, but you can make it appear with a three key. Then disconnect Z from slow motion under the ALS controller. Last thing is to change the ALS base desired rotation to velocity direction. I personally don't like it starting with the strafe setting on, but you can leave it. Just remember though that my crawl locomotion doesn't have strafing. From what we've set up, if you're in the strafing mode and you crawl, it'll change the movement to rotation mode so that you're not crawling in the strafe movement. A few things to note here for better animations. For the left and right hands, you'll want to mess with the blend depth because some animations like the drinking one don't animate as much. If you see, the hand doesn't come up to the mouth, but if you put negative one or say 20, the blending is reduced. So the hold animation isn't as firm, but the montage plays at a greater strength. That looks good for the cup, but now the torch isn't held as upright either. So there are several ways to go about editing this for each one, but that would make this video like three times as long. And it's not really the focus of this video. That being said, you should now have full functionality. The overhead checks when crouching or crawling, you can pick up and put down. One extra thing I've noticed is when you try to interact with objects while turning towards them, the character won't do it immediately until they've like completely stopped moving. This is because the system won't interact if a montage is detected, which these turn in place movements are a form of montages. The fix for this is to open up the immersive components interaction condition macro and out of the get current montage, get the path name and see if it contains the word transients. And if true, plug that into is interacting. I haven't spent any time figuring this out yet, but essentially when the turn in place animations are being played, they have the name transient in them, or at least in the file path. And so this logic allows us to bypass them in the montage check and perform the interaction as normal. The last thing about the chairs, the main issue comes from ragdolling and rolling. If those happen while sitting or starting to sit, whatever, the character ends up being able to move around and sometimes doesn't always leave the sitting state until you interact with the chair again. Also, the reverse form of the animations doesn't seem to register with the overlay slot and I haven't really figured out why yet. I'm not sure why, but I don't think it would take very long. It's just such a minor thing that I didn't want to delay this video getting put out any further. Aside from that, the only main bugs I haven't really been able to fully flesh out come from spamming the ragdoll button under surfaces with the overhead check. Part of the code I've set up allows for when the player ragdolls under surfaces, it'll perform a trace to check they're under something. And depending on the height, when the player gets out of the ragdoll state, they'll enter the highest state possible of being able to stand. But that's pretty much it. If I think of other notes, I'll definitely mention them in the Discord or comment section here. For those of you who made it this far, I want to say thank you very much. It really helps push me towards my goal of being able to work on the engine full time. And as I said earlier, I had a surprise if you stayed till the end. And here it is. I've actually linked this very project fully integrated in the video description. And as I said, if you're using UE5 and maybe some of the pasting didn't work, just download this project and change the engine version. This link will be up for the full month of my asset being free and eventually will be removed since obviously it won't be free anymore and it wouldn't be fair to those who pay. People have suggested I make a Patreon 
Patreon. So I'll probably end up making it downloadable through there if you support me for like a buck in the future. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I really hope this helps you make some amazing games. If y'all have questions or run into issues, please feel free to reach out. Lastly, if y'all can do me the biggest favor of hitting the subscribe button, leaving a like, and possibly sharing this with your friends, I'll appreciate it more than anything. Thank you again, everyone. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.